But first, it's the difficult decision most families have to face, moving a loved one into aged care. We expect they'll be looked after and hope their final days will be peaceful. But that didn't happen for John Curry, despite doctor's orders. Now his family is fighting for change. No one deserves to see their father die the way they did. This video captures 86-year-old John Curry in the final months of his life. My dad worked in the fire brigade for 22 years. He helped people. And when he asked for help, he was refused. So... Daughter Kim Sutton is unhappy with the care her father received at this aged care facility in Toowoomba. He arrived there in July last year after spending 15 weeks in hospital diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. He kept asking for help. He was basically, well, he was refused it. Um, I saw that bluntly myself. The much-loved grandfather's condition deteriorated on August 15 last year, and he was transferred to the Toowoomba Hospital, suffering severe abdominal pain. John Curry was discharged from hospital on the same day and returned here to the nursing home. Doctors had given clear instructions on how to manage his pain, but they were not followed. This discharge summary shows doctors wanted John to continue receiving Targin, a powerful drug to manage the debilitating pain. And that was never given because that um, discharge summary was placed in another folder or misplaced somewhere else. So my dad was living on Panadol for, with, with pancreatic cancer. The grandfather spent the next three days in agony. It got worse. It got to the stage he was screaming. He was asking for help. He asked the nurses. They walked past us. We rang the buzzer. They didn't come for certain periods of time. How did it make you feel seeing your dad in that state? Watching someone going through that was really hard. Um, yeah, it was awful. Um, especially when he was refused um, medical treatment. He asked for help. He wanted to go to hospital. The nurse bluntly said, there's nothing they can do there for you. Um, but they could have made him comfortable. In the hours before John Curry died, he was given morphine. But Kim believes it was too little, too late. The morphine was a minimal amount you could get. Dad should have had the most to make him comfortable. I kept arguing with the nurses, basically, because no one would listen. Her regular visits to her father's grave are tempered by the fact John Curry's passing wasn't what anyone would hope. He should have been comfortable. He should have been relaxed. And he had a horrific, terrible passing. What John went through was appalling. He was in extreme pain in the lead up to his death. Emily Snedden is from Shine Lawyers, who are representing the family in a claim against the Lutheran Services Northridge Salem facility. The main purpose of the claim is to bring compensation first and foremost to the family and to also bring awareness around, you know, what's happening in Australian nursing homes. Kim Sutton has already taken her case to the Aged Care Commission, which upheld two of the complaints made against the facility. It found Mr Curry's pain levels were not appropriately assessed or evaluated during his admission and an acceptable level of pressure injury care was not provided. When you're in with Dad's disease, um, you're supposed to be moved every three hours. He had three pressure sores which were up to category three, which is bad. That was a big concern to the Commission. Kim eventually received a letter from the centre. We regret that you experienced additional distress regarding the care of your loved one at what was already a difficult time. We thank you for your feedback as it provides essential opportunities for clinical care review and quality improvement. What's upsetting about this story is that the family wanted uh, the best uh, death, if you could say that, for their father and it didn't happen. Ian Henschke from National Seniors Australia says the case highlights the need for better palliative care at all nursing homes. We need the nurses and the staff trained in palliative care and we need to have a palliative care specialist available to make sure that that person gets the same sort of treatment that they would get in a hospital. Kim Sutton wants the aged care industry to implement a policy similar to the Ryan's Rule legislation in Queensland, 
after a three-year-old patient died with his parents' concerns not being properly listened to. Ryan's rule helps you raise concerns when a patient's condition is getting worse or not improving as expected. I want a rule brought in into a nursing home, all nursing homes, that if they're asked to go to hospital, they're allowed to go. They're not refused. Everyone deserves a good death. They deserve as pain-free a death as possible. And I hope that this case will actually make uh, aged care better. A tragedy hopefully can bring something positive out of it. And I hope my dad's death um, can do that for someone. Yeah, and we certainly hope so too. The Lutheran Services Centre declined to comment on the case, citing patient confidentiality, but said it was committed to providing the highest quality services and care to residents. John clearly did not get that. He deserved better. And change needs to happen, and happen urgently.